So what's going on guys, my name is Aero and welcome back to another wishlist video and in today's video I'm really going to go into some detail and explain my expectations for DLC 3 as it is a map pack that I am truly most excited for and I want to see the best out of it for Black Ops 3 itself. So before we begin the video make sure you leave me a like down below this video and we shall begin right into today's video. So with DLC 3 being an upcoming announcement it's not without a doubt that we will hear of it within the next 2-3 to three weeks and get a small build up of hype from what we know as Stalingrad. And I myself enjoy moments of history and having a map based off an event in history is already a tick off the box for this wishlist for what I want to see in a map. But I still have plenty more things on my list that will make this map one to never forget. First of all, right off the bat, I want to see a flamethrower implemented into zombies. Only once has the flamethrower been seen in zombies, and that was in Nocta and Toten on World at War 8 years ago. And ever since then, a Firestar Wonder Weapon has only had one sheer of light, which was in Origins, and I don't even consider that to be a Fire Wonder Weapon at all, as it acts more like a Lava or a Magma type of weapon, rather than engulfing zombies into pure flames and watching them burn horrifically with their dying screams. As an idea, Chucky had created a weapon skin for the Flamethrower as an idea for the DLC 3 map called Dragon's Breath, which is a very awesome and unique idea, but I don't particularly want to see us holding another beast looking object in our hands that just looks oddly out of place. Instead, bring the model of the purifier and redesign it into a more apocalyptic image and change the dragon's breath name into the fist of Kresnik or another relative name to suit zombies. Another idea or concept I want in Black Ops 3 Zombies is the chalk system from Buried in Black Ops 2. Now what seemed so stupid at first when playing Buried was actually the best idea on behalf of Treyarch during Black Ops 2. And even though I mentioned this in a wish list for Black Ops 3 almost a year ago, I still want to see this idea be brought into Stalingrad with various weapons up to draw anywhere on the map for us. And you can agree or disagree on this wish, but I personally like drawing the, up the war weapons and being given points for doing so as it felt like I had control of the map itself. Another wish I want to see in this map is not the ability to fly dragons, but to be able to have one assist you in battle against zombies, much like a civil protector or even Leroy from Buried. Having the exact same idea as that from Buried would work out to be quite a great map and would be the first map ever to feature an active dragon in the map to assist you as this would be a better fit rather than being able to fly a dragon around a city that is engulfed in flames and just purely on fire and just being a god at this stage of time so having a friendly dragon will be fantastic work from Jason and the crew so make sure to have a dragon assistant with us in this map. And finally my final wish for this video I have a few small things that I won't go too far into detail about and that's not having a buildable wonder weapon again. Just chuck the bad boy in the box at a low chance of getting it and implement a new perk of some sort as well. Bring back the fan favorite Voltraid and maybe even spare Banana Colada in with your own twist on it. A new return of perks will make us as fans happy and last but not least Give us a fun and challenging easter egg like in Black Ops 1 with Ascension, Shangri-La and Moon. All had very, very fun easter eggs that were rewarding and featured some very important characters such as Yuri and Gersh who I want to see in the flesh during the easter egg as well as we got to see Dr. Groff in Der Eisendruck. Make the map as great and bold as you can for the future of Zombies Treyarch. We are relying on this to lead up to a brilliant DLC 4 so don't let us down in this next map and that guys would be all for today's video if you guys have any wishes for DLC 3 of your own then be sure to leave me those in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video and have agreed on any of my wishes then leave a like and if you're new to the channel then I encourage you to please subscribe by hitting that red button but for now I'll catch you all in the next video